From the geniuses behind SpaceX and Facebook risking it all for a cage match, to Musk finally getting payback for Project 92, here's what's really at stake in the Elon Musk versus Mark Zuckerberg fight. The ultimate showdown between tech moguls has everyone wondering who would win in a cage fight. It's the kind of question you'd debate with your buddies over a cold one at the pub. But this battle isn't just a hypothetical scenario anymore. Rumor has it that Zuckerberg has turned into a full-blown jujitsu fanatic and has been on the lookout for a worthy opponent. And guess what? Musk is stepping up to the challenge. He tweeted out in response and said he was down for a cage match. Zuckerberg wasn't about to back down either and posted a screenshot of Musk's tweet and captioned it with, Send me location. That's cold and also a pretty subtle throwback to that famous line from ex-UFC champ Khabib Nurmagomedov. And get this, the big boss of UFC, Dana White, is hyped for the fight too. He's been in touch with both Zuckerberg and Musk and said that he spent two hours on the phone with these tech titans, hashing out the details of their cage fight. He believes this could be the event of the century, even surpassing the epic Conor McGregor Floyd Mayweather bout. He's predicting record-breaking numbers becoming the highest selling fight in history. And to top it all off, the Italian government pulled off a shocker by inviting the billionaire brawlers to come and fight at the legendary Colosseum in Rome. I still can't believe it. Gennaro San Giuliano, the Minister of Culture, took charge and personally reached out to the duo with this mind-blowing proposition. The 2,000-year-old Colosseum is one of the seven wonders of the world, so hosting the ultimate face-off between these tech titans here would be like stepping into a time machine. And guess what? Both of them were totally stoked about the idea. They wasted no time passing the message to Dana White, and then the Italian minister's people got in touch with White to get the gears turning. It's been ages since a big event in the arena, let alone a fight within those ancient walls. I mean, sure, the seating is pretty limited and only a few hundred spectators can sit in temporary seats, but the historical significance alone would blow everyone's minds. Even those who don't usually follow MMA will be hearing about it because I'm talking big money and some serious investment in this matchup. Hopefully, Zuck and Musk deliver for the crowds because people really wanna see how the two match up inside the ring. I mean, Musk stands tall at over six feet, so he definitely has the height advantage over Zuckerberg, who's a few inches shorter at five feet, eight inches. And you all know that size matters in the MMA, but it's not just the height game where Musk dominates. He's got the weight advantage too. In a tweet, Musk jokingly revealed his secret move called the walrus, where he just plops himself on top of his opponent and does nothing. Talk about a power move. He even joked that his workout routine consists of lifting his kids and tossing them in the air, but a cage fight isn't gonna be a walk in the park for Musk. He's gotta shed more than a few pounds to get in fighting shape. Elon also admitted he hasn't started training yet, but promised to hit the gym if the fight actually happens. Now, here's the kicker. People will definitely tune in for this madness. I mean, it's two billionaires throwing their dignity out the window and going head to head in a cage. It's like watching a train wreck in slow motion, but with piles of cash on the line. You know Dana White is rubbing his hands together since he knows this fight will be a money-making spectacle, but it's no secret Zuckerberg is a much more experienced martial artist than Musk. He may not have the size advantage, but don't count him out just yet because this dude has some serious jujitsu skills. He recently entered a real competition and walked away with gold and silver medals at the Silicon Valley tournament. So Zuck definitely ain't messing around. He even sparred with UFC featherweight champion Alexander Volkanovsky, who's considered one of the best in the biz. It was all part of a meta project and Zuck held his own against the mighty champ. That's pretty impressive, to be honest. While Musk was munching on ice cream, biscuits, and donuts for breakfast, not kidding, he admitted that himself. Zuck was out there running, surfing, and getting down and dirty. He's a fan of UFC and even said that MMA is the best sport ever on Joe Rogan's podcast. It grabbed his attention from the get-go, and he loves how it's all about paying attention or ending up face down on the mat. But what's even scarier for Musk is that Zuckerberg recently took on the Murph Challenge. It's a grueling workout named after a Navy SEAL hero, Michael P. Murphy. And it's like this. You have to do 100 pull-ups, 200 push-ups, 300 squats, and a mile-long run, all while wearing a 20-pound weighted vest. 
And get this, he does it every year with his daughters. Now that's some serious dedication. Zuck even shared his achievement on Instagram and said he finished the challenge in 39 minutes and 58 seconds. That's insane. If I was Musk, my pants would be a little soiled. Zuckerberg is bringing his A-game with jujitsu skills, MMA passion, and some pretty intense workouts. It's gonna be a battle of wits, strength, and determination. So who'll come out on top? And what will they lose? Look at it this way. Zuckerberg's company, Facebook, is already massive, but lately, the rumors say that there's nowhere left for it to grow. He's been losing a whopping $40 billion trying to make the metaverse happen. And let's be real, it's starting to feel like a lost cause. But hey, he's too stubborn to admit defeat, so he's hyping up this year as the year of efficiency. Meaning, he's about to fire half his old Facebook crew. So yeah, he isn't the most popular guy these days. Republicans think he's a sneaky left-wing manipulator. Democrats don't like his involvement in the rise of Donald Trump. And even parents hate him for not caring enough about the harm caused by Facebook. It's safe to say he's not winning any popularity contests. So what does a frustrated almost 40-year-old billionaire do? Well, apparently he agrees to get into a cage and fight it out with another aging rich guy. Talk about a midlife crisis on steroids. It's been quite a sight to witness Zuckerberg's transformation. He used to be this multilingual dad who casually recommended books on his account, but now he's gone full on jacked up CrossFit bro and is a jujitsu enthusiast. He's posting thirst traps and sending his minions to convince the media that he's an incredible martial artist. But let's get real here. No matter who wins, their reputations as serious businessmen are gonna take a nosedive. It's not a question of who's gonna come out on top because both have already lost, but according to fitness gurus, Zuck has been showing off some serious skills in extreme fitness challenges and mixed martial arts, like I said before. And when it comes to who would come out on top in a fight, it's all about agility versus strength. So if these two titans were thrown into a cage, Zuckerberg would have the edge with his agility and endurance, but as long as Musk doesn't manage to land some heavy blows early on, now don't take this as a prediction set in stone because anything can happen in a fight and you've all seen miracles in the ring before. But according to experts, the odds are in Zuck's favor. Javier Mendez, the former coach of Khabib and the current trainer of UFC lightweight champ Islam Makachev came out to support the fight too. According to him, Zuck has a major advantage over Musk because he's actively training and getting in the ring for jujitsu tournaments. Mendez believes that Zuckerberg is way ahead of Musk, especially when it comes to jujitsu. But he said that no one truly knows what Musk brings to the table until we see him in action. So the big question is how hard Musk can hit and how well he can keep the fight standing. And here's the exciting part. Musk took his words to heart. And word on the street is that he's being trained by UFC legend Georges Saint-Pierre. Now that's a legendary trainer to have in your corner. But rumor has it that this entire fight is happening because Mark is cooking up a new app and it'll rival Twitter. It's codenamed Project 92 and it's expected to have a continuous scroll of text, like and retweet buttons and a 500 character limit on posts. Exactly like Twitter. So it turns out Elon Musk is out for revenge and wants payback. So from Musk finally getting payback for Project 92 to the geniuses behind SpaceX and Facebook risking it all for a cage match, here was what's really at stake in the Elon Musk versus Mark Zuckerberg fight.